Good morning and welcome to Working Horses with Jim. It's the start of a new day. Jim has plans to go out to the woods and do some firewood skidding on his way out with Bill here. He's gonna drop off a load of perennials for me down at the um, at the pond. There are things I've taken out because I have a greenhouse. I had to move things around. So we're gonna get loaded up. He's gonna take that down there and then continue on and do some firewood work. Oh, you need a place to stand. So where do you want that to be? Start in the back. Can I put it on here? Yeah. Take the flocks today, I think. So, good morning, everybody. So, today we're going to take uh, Bill and Ken out and do a little skid and firewood. And uh, since we're going down, I got to take my stone boat because I've got my chainsaws and stuff. So, we decided to carry some of Brenda's stuff down to the pond. She's been after me for a while to get this done, so we'll do it. On my way out to take some coffee out to Jim and William. Uh, of course, my trusty dog Skippy's along. And we'll go out and see how they're doing out in the woods skidding firewood this morning. And then I hope to go and move some of the perennials over, at least get them off the sled today. It's a shaping up to be a real warm day. As you can see, it's not time to plant or get into the fields yet. We still got a lot of mud to get rid of before Jim can work in the fields again. Okay guys, coffee's over. We're ready to get back to work. But before we start, and we're starting in this, we're not starting, but we're in this area here. We have, like you saw, we got Bill and Ken both today skidding. And uh, we have just been using Ken so far, but we're gonna start in with Bill even now. But I want to show you what we were working on and where we were working earlier this morning and uh, give you an idea of what we're dealing with. Okay, so this is what we skidded out this morning. And all I'm doing, right now our excavators actually broke down a couple days ago. I was bringing it back up into the woods here and I decided I'd pick a few more stones in our pasture and I had a fairly major breakdown the, um, on the boom itself. I broke the spot that holds the cylinder. So we're getting that fixed, but it's gonna be a little while before we get that fixed. Anyways, because, um, because I have the excavator, um, after I get it fixed, I'll bring that down here. And what we're doing, or what we have done, just skidded these logs, trees, out to the road. And what I'll do when I have the excavator is come back in and actually pick them up and swing them side to side so that we can get through with the wagon. And then I'll just load them onto the wagon with the excavator. Um, most of this wood that we skidded out this morning was just junk basswood. As you can see, this basswood is hollow and it's just really not any good. So it's important to get it out of the 
out of the woods because it's taking up space for other trees to be growing. So that's what we did. There might possibly be a log or two in here, basswood, but I kind of doubt it. Um, it's mostly junk basswood. Now, this junk basswood is really not good for anything because it makes a terrible firewood, but because of our outdoor furnace, we will burn it in our outdoor furnace. Um, it uh, burns up kind of fast, but it's still, we're utilizing it for something, which is, which is good, it's not a complete waste. So we were dealing with a lot of water out there, it's quite wet there, so now we've moved. This section is, is pretty well done. There's a couple more here that will be dropped right across the road that uh, I can just, won't have to skid it, I can just move it with the excavator. So now we'll go back to a spot where it's higher and drier and probably be a little bit more pleasant working than we were working this morning because we have a lot of stones in through here. As we come through here, Brenda can show you, we have stones all over the place and it is wet. So now we're up here where it's quite high and dry. There's a few stones, but it's still so much better. Um, I have a, a <coughs> forester friend of mine actually marked most of these trees um, to come out of here. I have these two beech right here that we need to get out of here. And I generally would not be dubbing around with trees even this size with one horse. Um, it's, it works if that's all you have, but generally I would use the team on the cart because I can just skid so much more. Um, we just have to go a very short distance to get it up to the trail that we have up there. So it's, it will, that's what we'll use for today, or at least this morning. Um, I have a hemlock right there that was not marked, um, but those beaches have to go right down there and I was afraid to just knock it over anyways or get hung up into it. And I could use a few hemlock. I don't have many hemlock. And uh, so I decided to cut it. This is my own land so I can do whatever I want anyways, which is really nice. I don't have to worry about whether it's a tree is marked or not. Um, so we've got this beach here. There's, I mean, those two beaches behind Brenda and the hemlock. And then we have another soft maple right off to our, across the way there. But that, that's right next to the, the uh, fence also. So I gotta be careful to not knock the fence down in the process of getting that down. So we're gonna hitch up, uh, Bill, um, uh, we did a video a little while ago, actually this past winter I did a video of skidding with Bill and I used um, two lines on him. Um, then recently we did a video of skidding with Ken and we used the, just the, the driving lines and I showed you how I do that. I, I prefer almost using that as opposed to using the long lines, but today we're going to use the long lines on Bill and the driving lines on Ken. So we're gonna hitch on this hemlock tree and snake this out of here. Okay, so grab the chain, put it right on. Come here. Oh. Oh. oh, where are the lines? <laughs> oh, they're on the other side. Oh. 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 Do you want to roll it or? I do, you're probably. Uh, I don't want to go back that far. Let's try. You won't be able to get through, but just go around the butt of the log. Go right through the hole right down here. And get as far back as you can with a roll, and we'll roll up out of there, and then we can rehitch the chain if we if we need to. Just put the hook way back down and hitch right there. It'll roll up out of there. I expect it will. That should be good. Grab my chain side so I don't hit that. Hey, 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 kept up. Come here, oh, oh, horses didn't get worked yesterday, so they're feeling pretty good today. And, uh, oh, Javier, ha, 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 oh, oh. Oh. oh, so with the lines like this, the big long lines like this, it is doable, but you can see there's a lot in my hands. Whereas when I just had the driving lines, like we have on Ken, and I'll show you when we hitch up Ken, oh, bye. 
it's just to me so much easier than carrying all these lines back up bye bye oh don't get me wrong there are advantages of it also i can stand back here with the long lines cap step oh to get him up out of there whereas the other way i would have had to come right up here to do it cap step cap step oh how no no Oh no, I kept up. Oh. Oh, actually, G over here, G, 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 capital G, G, oh, hi, hi William, oh, so I'll have William take care of Bill, and I'll go cut another tree. William has not handled Bill yet, so I wanted to do this myself. Go ahead and unhitch him, and uh, I'll get another tree down. So this is only the uh, the second time that Williams actually come out and help do a little skidding, and uh, so we're kind of working together quite a bit in this. Generally, it's not something you do with two people; you just do it alone. But for this situation, it works good. We work together. So he's got the chain on there. I'll spin Bill around, back him up, and then I'll let him have the lines and take him out while I get the. That's the tree cut, Javier. Oh. Hi. Bye. Bye up here. Bye up here. Oh. Oh. Hi, careful step. Oh. Okay, try to swing like I did. Don't matter. You can go this either way. Cheer him right over.
Bill can see what's going on. He's going to be a lot happier camper. Yeah. You know how he is when he's alone. <laughs> no, he don't like that. No, he does not. Ken was even having a little bit of a hard time over there. Yeah, he didn't want to too good. Being left alone in the woods, he was afraid, I guess.
Keep them on the left side of that rock. Keep them on the left side of that rock. This one and see if we can grab all three of these together. Top of the other one. For that chain. Yeah. Yeah. Front part. No, no. No. Front part. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. Right. Huh? 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 No. 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 Huh? 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 Huh?
William, are you okay? Good boy. Good boy. You might be able to pull it through. I don't know.
Oh! I think I see a path. Oh, right to there, G. Oop, G. Caps up. Oh! Okay, William, you can get him from here. I think you're fine right up through there. Oh. Just right straight on through, right? Kind of that way. Okay. It's a little rocky right there, but I think you're fine. Yeah. And you got a bunch of brush to jump over, but you should be fine.
Oh, over target on head.
spring beauties. I'm just said he thinks that they're gonna call it quits. Kind of raining. Oh, 
Want me to carry something too? Oh, oh, isn't that gas and oil hanging on the panes? You got all I got is the sew on the hair plugging. Okay. Yeah, quite a lot, I'd say. You got the X too? <laughs> Thanks. Hey, why do you think the pond looks like it went down? Yeah, because it went down. Yeah. I'm asking why. Skip sees the frogs on the edge. Go ahead, Skip. You gonna go for a swim? You know you wanna. Phew! All of a sudden it's hot. I got soaking wet in the bucket. I wouldn't say soaking wet. <laughs> I'll just un unload them here and come back. With the shovel, oh, which I did not bring. Around the edge where there's dirt. Yep. Maybe on the far side. enjoyed this video thanks for coming along give us a like if you enjoyed it
nuts. 